Look. So we're gonna take some of the milk and pour it in here. What I want you to do is take some of the food coloring. Okay, and how I look here? Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, take a few drops, put like three drops. And now, What just happened? The colors got off. They moved away from each other. Look. When we touched the swab dipped in detergent to the surface of the milk, we saw the dye move around and spread out. But if we look underneath the surface, we'll notice that the dye doesn't move at all. This experiment demonstrates a physical property called surface tension. Surface tension describes the attraction of liquid particles at the surface of this liquid. This attraction makes a film on the surface, and this makes it much more difficult for an object to move through the surface than moving below the surface. Water has a very high surface tension. This is why the water droplets form a sphere instead of spreading out flat. Since milk is mostly water, it also has a high surface tension, and the film on top keeps the dye in place. But soap is a surfactant, and a surfactant is something that reduces or lowers the surface tension of liquids. When a drop of soap is added to the milk, the surface tension lowers, and now the fat and the protein can move about more freely. The soap interacts with the fat and the protein in the milk, and this causes the milk and the dye to move around. And that's the secret. We also tried this experiment using different types of milk, 1%, oat milk, almond milk, and skim milk. You should try it too. The results were interesting. Subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching Future Scientists. Did you subscribe yet? Okay, Dad.